I'm Tom Johnson, Thomas Johnson, Antique Furniture Restoration in Gorm, Maine. This is a classic chair. In fact, it's called The Chair. Uh, this is a 1960s version of the chair Hans Wegner designed in 1949. The back rail's broken, and that's what I need to fix. And I'll take the tape off and see what's going on here. And also, in the course of doing that, I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning up of this chair and re-oiling. Take this scotch tape off of here, take this apart and see what we've got. Okay, so this came off easily with the when I took the tape off. This is tough. On this side, it came apart right at the joint, but the dowel is broken. So I can replace that dowel and glue that back. This side's more difficult. This is broken right in the short grain area of this back rail. I think that all I can do is I'm going to remove this piece, glue it back where it belongs. I've noticed that it broke at the end of the dowels. In other words, the dowels themselves aren't broken. It broke outside those dowels. So I can possibly re-drill those dowels much longer across that break. And I'll remove these arms first because I need to glue everything together and then put it on. Well, it doesn't seem to want to come loose. Maybe I'll apply some heat to it. When I'm applying heat like this, I always watch the clock and do it for two minutes on each joint. Okay, I can set this aside. Okay, the next step I think is to get this piece off the arm. The first thing I want to do is I want to try to drill out as much of that dowel as I can just to help uh, weaken this. Yeah, it looks like a quarter inch dowel. So I want to choose a bit that's a lot smaller, like one eighth. And I'm going to try to drill as best I can right down the center of that dowel. Now it looks pretty good and it looks like I'm pretty well centered so now I'll uh, move up a couple of bit sizes. I don't see any teak coming up. I'm getting close to the edge down here. I think I can go up a couple sizes. Now I'm going to apply heat to this joint all the way around and see if I can get, get it to start to separate. So I've really got my knife blade in there quite a bit. I don't think this thing is ever going to just slide out of there on those dowels. In fact, in this area, I think I've got my blade possibly up against that dowel. And, uh, but what I've got here is enough of an opening right along the joint. I feel really confident that I've got the joint perfect. I may stick my flush cutting saw in there at this time and saw this piece off. And because I've scored this joint so well, uh, I should be able to follow the joint exactly. Okay, so now I can glue these pieces back right where they belong. Okay, now I'll let these dry overnight. All right, so now I'm gonna take the clamps off and then I've gotta drill out these dowels. So now I've gotta drill out these dowels, but I'm gonna drill these dowels out using successive sizes of bits. I'd really like to drill this out exactly the way it is, but it's, it's very difficult to know the angle. I'm going to try. First I'll mark the center. See if I can just guess at the angle of this dowel. 
I'm off center. I mean, so far I'm still in the dowel because it's all just white birch coming up. I'm just moving up to 5 30 seconds. All right, I'll try the next side. As far as I can tell, I'm still okay. I'll move up the next size. Getting thin on that side, but I can still go one size bigger at least. I haven't seen any teak come up yet, so I think I'm pretty good. Now I'm going to dig these walls out. All right, so now I'm ready to drill with the quarter inch bit. And I hope it can follow the original hole. It's funny, I think I'm pretty good, but I can still see the edges of the dowel around here. Well, at least most, of, at least on part of it. Maybe I'm slightly off. I think I'll try peeling away a little bit more of it. Okay, I think I've drilled that as well as I'm going to drill it. But here's the other thing. This this is the piece that the largest piece that was broken off. Now I want to drill the the dowels that I'm putting in in both places. I want to get them well past that break. This piece broke, if you remember, right where the dowels ended. I want to extend them past that break. So I'm looking where the crack is. It's around here, and of course it's, it's at an angle. But I think if that dowel, if I drill in about an inch and a half, that's going to get me well past the break. Okay, now I'm going to drill the next hole, and even though this hole is off, I had drilled that while this piece was still attached to here. I went into this, I have the same hole there, so I'm going to take a chance, I'm going to drill that out to one and a half inches, and then I'll drill this side. Now this is the arm that joins to the back here, like this. So this hole already lines up with this one. This one I've got to drill out with the successive bits like I did in this side. To drill out this dowel is a little tougher. It's broken down inside the hole, you know, and it becomes difficult to get your bit in the center. You know, it wants to grab and run all over the place. A uh, little trick here is to put your drill in reverse and get the hole started with the bit going in reverse. It won't really start that well, but it helps you find the center here without grabbing. All right, now I'm ready to do the glue up. I've drilled out all the dowels. One was still there. Uh, I put them in and I've tried it all together dry. Uh, seems like it goes together pretty well considering I didn't couldn't use a dowling jig. And uh, as you'll see, I'm going to glue up these joints uh, with epoxy because they're sloppy. They're a little bit sloppy. I've got some movement. And it's good they're sloppy. If they weren't, I'd never be able to get these together. It's a very difficult clamping job. And I'm going to clamp it, this whole assembly to the chair at the same time. And I'll use yellow glue for those joints. switch to yellow glue for the joints that attach to the leg. Now I'm going to try to bring these back joints together with a band clamp. Band clamp is going to go around here. You notice I cut this piece of wood here just to brace this a little bit. I don't want the band clamp to bring that in. seems to be together 
pretty good. I don't, I got a little movement there. I don't think I dare try to pull this band clamp any tighter though. I think I'm going to try putting a clamp on here just to try aligning it a little bit. All right, we'll find out tomorrow. All right, let's take the clamps off. Well, it certainly is solid. Okay, now I'm going to uh, basically uh, refinish this chair. I'm going to wash this chair down uh, with acetone. It has a tremendous amount of, of dirt and built up grime, all, especially where people's hands are. Okay, this is dry. The acetone dries really quickly. I'm going to sand this with some 150. First up, I still have some of the uh, yellow glue I used for these repairs didn't come off with the acetone, so I'm going to take a little bit of water and a scrubbing pad, see if I can loosen it up a little bit, and maybe use my knife to pick it off. All right, so now I'm going to give this a pretty thorough sanding, uh, but just with 150. I'm going to pay uh, particular attention to these joints where the damage was. These joints came together really well. They're not perfect. What I'm going to do is uh, use a little wood putty uh, all around this joint to pick up any of the minor cracks and just to fill that slight gap there. It's all sanded with 150, so now I'm going to put on a coat of tongue oil. And I'm brushing on a liberal amount, and then I'm going to keep it wet for a little while before I wipe it off. Okay, so I've let this uh, sit here with that tongue oil on for about an hour, it really soaked in. Uh, now, I'm going to take a knit rag, form it into a pad, I put a little bit of uh, tongue oil on it, and then just kind of wipe this down. Okay, my tongue oil is dried, I'm ready to wax it, uh, but first, and the places I put putty in some of these joints, uh, I just want to touch up first. And I've got this little graining marker uh, that I'm going to use. Okay, I wax this up with some paste wax. So there it is. A nice Hans Wagner chair. If you remember, this whole back rail was broken off. It was split at these joints right here. I re-glued the wood back where it belongs, and luckily I thought I was going to have to route in some kind of wood across the joints in the back, but I didn't. I was able to drill those dowels, uh, pass the brakes, and actually got this thing back together. I think it looks pretty good.